When I was 14 years old, I was a fucking dumbass. I'll put up um, a picture of what I used to, of the fits I used to wear mostly back in freshman year of high school. Bro, let me tell you something. Before, like, mm, November 2021, November 2021, yeah. I remember we went to this shoe store, me and my mom, and we were looking for new shoes to get. And I convinced her, I convinced her to go on Black Friday to the Nike store. <laughs> So we go into the Nike store, walking around, and there's a fat reason why I convinced her to buy these shoes. They look, they're pretty fucked up, yeah, but like, it makes sense, compared to buying these fucking shoes. The reason is so simple. Because when I got into that fit that I showed you, when I got into that fit, I could show up to school looking bad as fuck, looking sexy as fuck, hoping to get more girls. <laughs> Just walking around with my new ass shoes, feeling so proud of myself. Noticing as every guy that walks by sees my shoes and goes, yo, those are nice shoes, bro. I'm like, yo, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> walking around with, with shoes like this that were so good looking. But now that I realize, hang on. I did it all for social validation. I did it all so that people could look at me and say, Nice shoes, AJ. And I, they would say that and I'd be so, thank you so much, oh my God. <laughs> the point I'm trying to get here is you do not realize how many of your purchases have to do with social validation, have to do with people just turning their neck. Yo, validation right there. Validation right there. Just from someone looking at you, seeing that you have some pretty nice shoes and going, Yo, them shoes are sick, bro. Where you get them from? <laughs> or they'll say, what size them shoes, huh? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, bro. Almost everything you purchase, the majority of it, can all be connected down to social validation. These shoes right here, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. As soon as I had them in my hands, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pull so many more bitches with these. I'm going to go walk around the school and people are going to look at me and like me more. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to do this experiment because it's such a wild concept. You know people that have dream cars, right? Or maybe you have one of your own. I want you to ask yourself, why do you have this dream car? No, 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 like seriously, seriously, ask yourself, why do I have a dream car? Because I wanted to try this out for myself. I went up to one of the, just, just have an image in your mind. White hat looks like a trucker. Young as fuck. White hat, young trucker. You already know what I'm talking about. Those redneck motherfuckers. I went up to one of them and I was like, what's your dream car? And then he starts speaking about some G7X truck. Oh, I don't fucking know, bro. He started saying all these fucking random numbers and letters. And I was like, what the fuck? Just tell me. I don't even know what the brand is. <laughs> I know nothing about trucks, okay? But he told me all about that shit about the truck, and I was like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. why do you have this dream car? And he was like, uh, because the specs are really cool and the, 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 the tires are awesome. I'm like, why are the tires awesome? Why do you care if the tires look awesome? And he's like, well, I, I, the, they look good, and I like how they look good. And I was like, would you care if I said they look good? And, be like, and he was like, yeah, that'd be, that'd be really nice if you thought they looked good. <laughs> so you're telling me you're going to buy this fucking amazing, brand new, awesome truck with all these tires, these rims, these windshield thingies, the fucking suspension, whatever. You're going to get this amazing ass truck. And the whole purpose behind it all is so you can get some bitches on your dick. But he won't say that because it's too vulgar and kind of, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. The reason why we don't say that, the reason why we don't say what our core desires are is because in the modern day, they're seen as like fucking cringe. They're either seen as cringe or they're seen as weird. So why would you want to say what you actually think when you can just tell people what they want to hear? <laughs> ah, fuck that, bro. Fuck that shit. When you do that. Almost no one trusts you. I'm just going truly unfiltered with you here. 
I'm doing really good at these unscripted videos, huh? There is like no fucking script or anything here. I mean, I I, I got these. I got these ready for the script, pretty much. Damn, these are some nice shoes. Ah, I know you're saying them too. Oh my god, these shoes are so cool. I don't care. I haven't worn those shoes in months. I've been so focused on this business that I haven't even looked at any of these shoes for the past like four to three months. Four to maybe like three to five months. I've been wearing these fucking shoes every single day for the past five months. Bro. <laughs> Do you know the level of validation I'm like just somehow not getting? Just from wearing bullshit shoes every single day. Wearing the same shit every single day. So I can focus my brain power on delivering this message to you. <sighs> Anyways, the purpose, the purpose of this video is to get you to realize and understand the majority of your purchases have to do with someone looking at you and going, wow, that's it. The things you buy, the things you purchase, the things you scan, the things you whatever, all have to come back to, I want someone to look at me and go, Oh my God, or I want someone to look at me and go, wow. Is there any other thing I bought here? Oh yeah, my AirPod case. I could cope. I could say that I bought this so that my AirPods wouldn't like, you know, make, <laughs> my AirPods wouldn't be like fucking destroyed or something. But at the same time, I just wanted someone to pick it up whilst I was on the table and go, wow, this is such a really cool case, especially with the AirTag. So many of your decisions your decisions, your actions, your purchases, they all have to do with social validation. Such a fucking drug, bro. And then maybe later on, I'll go into why you want to do that. Why you want to get the little neck turn, little speck of attention that you didn't get while you were a kid. Womp womp. Join the Legion, brother. Link in the description.